trying to think about how we're going to get this back over without damaging the fence anymore. Good. <laughs> Good morning, modern status. Boy, is it windy out. It's taking my breath away. <sighs> it's been windy and rainy all night long. Right now it's misting out. We've just gotten just shy of an inch of rain so far. Oh, it's supposed to be like this all day today, guys. So we got a good inside project we're we'll doing. Uh, good morning, pigs. You enjoying this nice rain? Huh? I'm going to leave the camera right here. I gotta go run in there and find their food dish. I don't want the camera getting all muddy. We already broke one this week. Found their dish and we didn't get it covered in mud. <laughs> I know you guys would have liked to see me tripping and fall in the mud, but I'm glad I didn't. We gave the bucks a radio, put a radio in the bucks barn last night. And they're quiet this morning. I think they like listening to the tunes. Go get them their feed and then we'll be back. <laughs> Did you notice that, guys? <laughs> ah, there goes the Quanta tent. Oh, I hope it didn't destroy the fence. That would not be good. Oh, I guess I'll be working on that too today. Eek. I told you the wind's been strong. There you go. I was just saying how quiet you've been. Morning, girls. <sighs> Come on and hope, babies. Stay in there, girl. Don't you stay in? Well, I had an idea of what today's video was going to be on, but that was before that Quanta tent was blown over, so I'm not quite sure what's gonna happen in today's video. <laughs> you guys probably know by the title and the thumbnail already. Ready to go out? Come on. All right, I'm not gonna let you guys out until I go fix that tent. All right, I guess we can leave them out back here. Hold on. Let's do this for now. There, we'll keep that gate closed. Now you can come out. I'll open that gate in a minute. I gotta go check, make sure we didn't damage the main fence. I'm trying to think about how we're gonna get this back over without damaging the fence anymore. Hmm. <laughs> All right, let's see if we can get this back over. Whoa. It is loaded with water. So let's solve that. That's too heavy for me to move because of the water. 
There we go. There, you gotta get over there now. I'm gonna go in the pasture and try to flip it over and out. Give you guys some feed. Good morning there. <sighs> Not the normal way of starting our day. We do have another puddle of water, right? Yeah, we need to drain out in there. Gotta finish draining the water first. It's full of water? Yeah, it's full of water. Alright, let's see if we can get to the store. <sighs> What's that? Yeah, if you can, I, I can't see what's going on, so. I'll be out there in a second. Let me just straighten this fence out. Nice. All right, I didn't damage the fence, which is good. Yeah, it might be better off just carrying it over there, see if we can. Yep. All right, so I'm gonna take my end towards the barn. You ready? Nope, just stay like that for now. Stuck in a big old rock. Ah. You got me. Ouch, right in the head. Watch out. Ow, oh, that hurt. <sighs> All right. If we leave the tarp on, we can drag it. If we take the tarp off, it's all gonna fall apart. Yeah, but once we get over there, we can get it. Right. Yeah, we can the making so much noise you locked her out uh, how'd you shut the door on hope no wonder why you're making so much noise come on hope what happened huh what happened to you hope got locked out by herself somehow <laughs> all the other goats are inside and she's out there by herself <sighs> And now it's not drained. All right, so I'm gonna disconnect it. I'll try to flip it. Hoping we can kind of just stand it up here and then flop it over in this area. And we'll keep all of our stuff that we need to work on in one spot. Uh, instead of having it spread out all over the place.
Perfect. I just figured keep everything in one spot so we don't have stuff all over the property. Now I can cut the tarp off. Not what I was planning on doing today. <laughs> this was not in the plans. <laughs> Just a little wet. I'm soaked. You got a runny nose? It's cold out. Gina said we need some carrots for the soup she's making for tonight's dinner. So it's gonna be a good night for soup. Let's see what we can find for carrots. Ooh. Looks like a good batch of carrots we got. Trying to leave them in the ground, from what I understand, the longer you can leave them in the ground, the sweeter they get in this cool weather. We're gonna find out. A couple more, that should do it. That'll be good. Is that enough carrots? I think so. They smell good. Tonight I'm going to try making um, the pumpkin pan rolls from the Prairie Homestead cookbook. Um, and see if I can get those to come out. I believe it's supposed to be hand kneaded, but I'm going to use my kitchen aid. I use melted butter. So I'm melting that on the stove. I'm gonna dump my butter back into the measuring cup because I also need warm milk. So I'm just gonna rinse this pan out and put the milk in this one. No sense of dirtying it another day. So I just need the milk warm to 110 degrees so I can put my yeast in it. So I'm just gonna use my thermometer and keep an eye on it. I just have this on low and it's already almost a temperature. Said 95 to 110. Oh, I'm going to stop it now. I'm just going to put it into my kitchen aid container. It's reading 108, so I'm going to go ahead and add my yeast now. Do two and a half teaspoons of yeast, and instead of dirtying the one teaspoon and the half, I'm just going to do five. One, two, three, four, five. I need to add my sugar, my butter. Add my pumpkin. My egg. Slowly combine it in.
So what you're supposed to leave it in here until it rises and gets doubled in size. It does not say to put anything over the top, but I am just gonna throw a kitchen towel over it. I'm gonna try making some cheddar broccoli potato soup, which is basically a vegetable soup because I'm gonna it's gonna have one that's broccoli. So it's basically the same recipe I've been doing with the broccoli soup, but just with more veggies in it. And these are carrots from our garden. They're not very big, but we've had a couple and they're really good tasting. So. Awesome! I When I planted them, I put them in thick. So, and I did thin them, but they could have been thin more. It rose. I get to punch it. Well, that was fun. It's like going bowling. Get the stuff on so your hands aren't sweating. Oh, yeah. these rise for 30 minutes while the oven is warming up. I'm just going to cover that. One and a half tablespoon of butter. Okay, so I brought it to a boil and we're gonna turn it down to medium heat. And put this in 15 minutes, which is cool. Except this. And that's also when the pumpkin pan rolls will be ready to go in the oven. Go ahead, Fuda. Hey, it actually kind of stopped. It's not even drizzling? Oh, a little bit. It's well, misty. I can't really feel it. Stop for us to go and do chores. Yeah. Here you go! I love the man for that thing. They want that grain. Yep. We need to hang up our other CWC license plate. We do. Yeah. How many eggs? I'm thinking 13. So. I'm going to say 10. Yeah. Ah, there's quite a few. Fourteen. That's a That's a good day. Here comes the rain. Yep. Did you see the tents missing? Yeah, it's over there. Did you see it this morning? No. Oh, it was up upside down on the rock wall on top of the new fence. Oh, she did. Yeah. Did you take the stuff, the yellow, the, the, what, the yellow Yeah, we had to stuff? cut it off. You did? It was all torn up. Oh. And I'm guessing stuff to the rock wall. Yeah. 
The pumpkin rolls are delicious. That's a recipe out of the Prairie Homestead cookbook. I'll have a link to that in the video description down below. Man, I am so glad that when that Quonset tent, shelter logic, whatever you'd like to call it, blew over on the fence, it didn't destroy the fence. My heart sank at first. I was like, oh man, that would not be good. I have a stiff neck right now. And I was like, why do I got a stiff neck? And then editing the video went, oh yeah, I got clonked pretty good in the head. <laughs> Oh, it's always an adventure on the homestead. And that's one of the things I love about it. There's always something new around the corner. If you get bored with something, if you've had enough of it, the seasons change. And then there's always something new to do, new project to work on, whether it's hatching animals, building projects, babies being born. There's always something going on. A little quote I was reading today that I love. If you're offered a seat on a rocket ship, don't ask what seat just get on man that is so true for us right now hopefully we can get into that a little bit more later on fingers crossed thanks for coming along on our journey with us guys you are a huge blessing to us in our homestead and we'll see you right back here in the next video at lumna acres